Hi guys, Adam here. So, uh, I know that we deal with a lot of data at the beginning and it takes a while for us to get to visualizations. So, because we're gonna continue down that path, I wanna do some visualization stuff now, uh, just to, I know it can get a little bit boring or maybe it's not that exciting, but let's figure out how to do headshots because that's pretty fun and that won't drastically affect um, how we organize this visualization. So, not only are these gonna be headshots, they're gonna be dynamic based on the name that we select. Now, I've already done this. I created a, a list of my athletes right here, and I got images from the internet and pasted them into these cells. Now I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. What you do is you create another sheet, and what I did is I just clicked on this, clicked on A, where all my athlete profiles are in my table, copy, and paste them in. And then I put images here. I, I made the rows a little bit a little bit bigger, um, maybe like 30 or something, so that I could see the images. But that doesn't really matter right now. I'm gonna delete this sheet. Just pretend like you just did that right here. You got images, and I have one left. I'm gonna get it from online right now. I'm going online, getting a Superman image, copying it, pasting it. And now I'm just going to make it smaller and smaller and smaller so that it fits inside that cell. This is extremely important. The image has to fit inside the cell. It has to be inside the cell. Perfect. I have all my headshot images with the names next to them. Now let's get cracking on this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to copy the cell that the image is in. Not the image, but the cell that it is in. Copy it. I'm gonna go to my data viz. And this is really important too. I'm gonna right click or paste special, however you get there, and make sure that it is a linked picture. Okay? It's a linked picture. Pasting it in. If you don't do it that way, you'll probably get really frustrated because it probably won't work. Okay, now I have an image, but notice the name is Curious George, and this is a picture of Charlie Brown. So doesn't really make sense. We don't have anything linked. This isn't what we want. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a formula to get this done. And we've already done this formula a couple of times. We're gonna use index match or X lookup, um, but that's more, that's for newer versions. Let's just use index match in this one. You can look use X lookup too. It's gonna be exactly the same as this pretty much, where we got the profile information from and kind of the same as the injury status, which is a little bit more complicated because we have multiple criteria, and but it's gonna be more like this, where we just have one piece of criteria. So I'm gonna start it off with equals index. What do I wanna get the index of, or what do I want? I want the headshot image. I'm gonna click on here, click on C. I am not going to highlight these cells because then my formula will not update if I add more athletes beneath. So I'm going to do this. And one very important aspect of this, okay, is to add dollar signs before each of the C's to lock those cells in, lock that column in. Because if I don't, then if I move move the cell that I'm referring to, it's going to, it's just not going to work. So I want that, and I want to match. What's the lookup value that I want to match to? A name. So I want to match this name in my data viz. Two, after my headshots, whatever name is in here. And I'm going to put the dollar signs in front of the Bs, comma, zero, exact match. So what I'm saying is that I want the headshot image in here, matches up with the name in my data viz. And I'm going to click enter. And now we'll see a zero here. Um, that's okay because we're not actually going to use a formula in one of these cells we're gonna use the name manager. And the way that you get there, let's pretend I'm on home. I go to formulas and you'll see a name manager here. Before I open that up, I'm gonna copy what I have in this cell. Okay, the formula that we just did. I did control C, so it's copied. And I'm clicking escape to get out of it. I'm gonna click on name manager. You'll notice you already have a couple names in here. These are your tables. I'm gonna create a new one. It's not gonna be a table, but it's gonna be a reference, I'm gonna call it headshot lookup. 
and it refers to, I'm going to change this. I don't want it to refer to that cell. I want it to refer to my equation that I just did. So I did control V, I pasted my equation in there. And now I'm going to click enter. Then you will see the headshot lookup and its equation beneath in your list. I'm going to click close. Now, I don't need this formula anymore. I'm going to delete that cell or delete the contents of that cell. And now when I click on this image, you'll notice it says equals headshot C2. If I go here, well, C2, that is the cell that I copied. That makes sense. I want to change this equation for this link cell to be headshot lookup to apply my equation to it. And I'm because you can't with link cells, you can't write equations. You can only refer to a named range or, or another cell. So we need to do that name range thing or in the name manager to make this work. I'm going to click OK or enter. When I click enter, this guy just changed to Curious George. And when I click on the cell, it says headshot lookup. Now, if I want to change this name, again, this will be a drop down or something. So right now we're typing things in. Uh, let's see who else is in this da database. Buzz Lightyear is in there. Lisa Simpson is in there. Let's try those guys. So if I change this to Lisa Simpson, I click enter. Our information changes to Lisa because we did that before. And there's her picture. And let's try Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear. And there he is. And we can do, I, there's a little border around the picture. We can play around with things like the size of it and we can get rid of that border. That's easy to do. I can show you quickly now, although it doesn't really matter right now. I'm, it's going off of what's in these cells. So if I were to highlight these cells and make them white, let's just say, I go to my data viz now, that's a big white box. Uh, so essentially our formatting um, can be manipulated here. I'm gonna go back to no fill. And I'm gonna make this smaller. Back to where it was. So great, now we have headshots and I hope that this was a helpful video. And in the next one, I'm not exactly sure where we're gonna go, but we're gonna do something and it's likely going to be visual or data organization oriented. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.